Gran Turismo is no stranger to real life racing cars, and ever since Gran Turismo 2 we've been able to drive cars seen at the likes of Le Mans, in touring car championships and in GT series. But for a few minutes let's cast our minds back to the original Gran Turismo. With no large budget to license real cars, they ripped off many real life designs, changed them a little and put them into the game. Here are the real life cars that inspired many of the special vehicles and racing modifications on the original Gran Turismo. Let's kick things off with the TVR Griffith. Its racing modification was based on this TVR Tuscan, which competed in the TVR Tuscan Challenge in the early 1990s, which was a British one-make race series. The Burgundy TVR Cerbera LM Edition was based on the TVR Cerbera GT, which was driven by a little-known race driver called Mark Hales in the British GT Championship in 1995. Moving on to Toyota, here's one that everyone knows. It's the Castrol Supra GT, named the Castrol Tom Supra in real life. It competed in Super GT in Japan, and this specific model is likely from its debut year, 1995. There was also the prize car Castrol Supra GT, which came in a black livery. As far as we could see, no real life Castrol Super existed in black, but there were other black Castrol cars that could have inspired this one, such as the Castrol Mugen NSX, which was present in Gran Turismo 2. Another more recognisable car in the original Gran Turismo is the Toyota Celica's racing modification. In real life, the Celica rally car notably competed in the 94 and 1995 World Rally Championships in this Castrol livery, and won several rallies. There was also a track version of the Celica GT4 that competed in the N1 Endurance series in Japan. The body kit closely resembles the car in Gran Turismo, so this may have served as inspiration as well. Although it has Monza logos on its sides which weren't present on Gran Turismo. The Chaser LM Edition is an interesting inclusion. The car was likely based on the presentation Toyota Chaser, which was shown to the press in this full black livery before the 1997 Japanese Touring Car Championship. The racing modification for the Chaser Tora S, however, was based on the Zen Eclipse Chaser, which competed in JTCC in 1997. It was driven by Masanori Sakia, a long-time works Toyota driver. The racing modification for the Chaser Tora V, with the grey wheels, also resembles a variation of the same JTCC Chaser, which had ESO logos on the side rather than Eclipse. The AE86 Corolla Levin was likely based on the N2 Endurance model from the 1980s. While there are some design changes to avoid licensing the real car, the number remains the same as well as the overall design style. Here's the racing modification for the Toyota Corona Exit. It competed in the 1995 Japanese Touring Car Championship, which was driven by Michael Crum and Masanori Sakia, and also by Kelvin Burt at the 1995 Guia Race of Macau. The black racing modification could simply be a palette swap of the red version, however it also resembles the colour scheme of the Razo Zippo Corona Exiv, driven by Takahiko Hara. It competed in the 1997 Japanese Touring Car Championship as well. On the left you'll see the Wed Sport Toyota Chaser which competed in JTCC in 1997. On the right is the Mark II Tora V in Gran Turismo. The front of the car closely resembles the Wed Sport Chaser, though the back was likely something the game designers made up. The Buddy Club Kosei MR2 was the inspiration for the Toyota MR2G Limited's black livery. It competed in the GT300 class in Japanese Super GT in the mid-1990s. The other colour schemes are likely palette swaps of this same car. The racing modification for the 1995 Toyota Supra appeared in Le Mans in 1995. It was entered by the Saad team in the LMGT1 class. It was driven by Jeff Krosnov, Mauro Martini and Marco Apicella, who had one race in Formula 1. However, the Saad team entered another car at Le Mans in 1995, the purpose-built Saad MC8R, which was a heavily modified Toyota MR2. It shared the same colour scheme and design as the Saad Supra, but unfortunately did not perform very well. The Saad team brought back the MC8R the following year, in 1996, with a new livery. And it was this livery that was likely the inspiration for the second racing modification for the Supra 95, with the green hoop around the entire car. Next up is the Toyota Supra found in the new car lot on Gran Turismo. Its blue racing modification was based on the FET Sport Toyota Supra, which competed in the Super GT series in Japan in 1995. 
While many alternative racing modification colour schemes were simply palette swaps on the original Gran Turismo, the Supra Silver colour scheme was also based on a real-life car. It was inspired by the Powercraft Supra, which also featured in Super GT. Going further back in time to the Mark III Supra, the car's blue racing modification was based on the Team Tom's Fujitsu 10 Supra, which competed in the Japanese Touring Car Championship in 1989 and 1990. Moving on to Subaru, let's start with the Impreza 95. Surprising nobody, this car was based on the Impreza Rally car, specifically one that competed in the 1994 World Rally Championship. This car actually looked more like its real-life counterpart on the test drive demo of Gran Turismo. The logos on the hood and the side were closer to the 555 branding, while the Repsol logos on the front and rear bumpers ended up being more obscured on the final game. The Impreza 96 was also based on the real-life rally car of the same year. The main differences between the models was the lighter blue colour on the body and the removal of the Repsol logos on the front and back bumpers. Lastly, we have the Subaru Impreza Rally Car, which was based on the Subaru Impreza that competed in the 1997 World Rally Championship and driven by the legendary Colin McRae. The team would play second in the championship behind Mitsubishi that year. Alike to the 95 Impreza, this car looked even more like the real Impreza Rally Car on the test drive demo disc. The car's appearance was probably changed to ensure that they avoided having to license the real car to save on costs. The Nissan 300ZX was based on the real-life 300ZX that ran at Le Mans in 1994. It finished first in the IMSA GTS class and fifth overall. In the same year, it also won the 24 Hours of Sebring. Next up, we have the first of two libraries of the Nismo GTR LM. It was based on the Kure R33 GTR which ran in the JGTC series in 1997. And it was driven by Masahiko Kagayama and Masahiko Kondo. The R33 Zexcel Skyline GTR was the inspiration for its second racing modification, which also ran in the JGTC series in 1997, driven by ex-F1 drivers Agori Suzuki and Eric Koma. These two racing modifications were cut from Gran Turismo 2, probably because they now had the budget to license the actual cars. Here we have the other Nismo GTR LM in the game, the one that featured as Nissan's special model. In real life, this was one of two cars that Nismo entered into the 1995 Le Mans 24 Hours. It finished a respectable tenth overall, and was driven by Hideo Fukuyama, Masahiko Kondo and Shunji Kasuya. The pink-coloured Nismo GTR LM also featured in Le Mans in the same year. Unfortunately, it failed to finish, but did complete 157 laps, and was driven by Kazuyoshi Hoshino, Toshio Suzuki and Masahiko Kagayama. The Nismo 400R is up next, in particular its yellow racing modification. It may have been based on this Nismo 400R which took on the Pikes Peak hill climb in the late 90s. Its body kit does look very similar, at the very least. There was also a yellow coloured R33 Skyline that ran in Super GT in 1996, which was officially called the Prince Tokyo Fujitsubo GTR. This may have also inspired the Gran Turismo library. Interestingly, a close approximation of the Fujitsubo GTR was found in the game files of Gran Turismo 2, but was removed from the game for unknown reason. Next we have the Nissan Primera, which was based on the Calsonic Primera, which was driven by Kazuyoshi Hoshino and Masahiro Hasemi in the 1994 Japanese Touring Car Championship. In the 1992 season of the British Touring Car Championship, there was a black Primera driven by Keith O'Dor and others, including Tiff Nudel. This may have been the inspiration for the Primera's black library on Gran Turismo. The 1994 season of the Japanese Touring Car Championship saw the entry of this Nissan Sunny, driven by Masahiko Kageyama and Akira Yida. Despite this being a Sunny rather than a Primera, it was definitely the inspiration for the Primera's red colour scheme. However, it may have been given to the Primera, as there was a similar red-coloured castrol sponsored Primera in the British Touring Car Championship in 1994, which was driven by Eric van der Perle, Keith O'Dor and, again, Tiff Nidell. The Nissan Primera's other racing modification is green. It's a palette swap of the red colour scheme, but could also have taken inspiration from the Castrol Nissan Primera that featured in the 1994 JTCC season, which was driven by Masahiro Hasemi. Next we have the Nissan Pulsar's racing modification. This was based on the Pulsar rally car that drove in 1991 and 1992 in the World Rally Championship. It had indifferent results though it was driven by a young Tommy Mackinnon, who would go on to be a future champion. 
This is the first racing modification for the 1998 S13 Sylvia Ks. It was based on the Mooncraft CCI Amenbo S13 Sylvia that featured in Japanese Super GT in 1994, driven by former F1 driver Naoki Hattori. The Calsonic R32 Skyline is another well-known Gran Turismo car these days, but before the car was officially licensed, it appeared on Gran Turismo 1 as one of the racing modifications for the R32 Skyline, with Skyline logos rather than Calsonic ones. The red Skyline could simply be a palette swap of the blue library, however there were a couple of red-coloured Skylines also present in the Japanese Touring Car Championship. These were the Gibson Motorsport Skyline and the Altier Nismo Skyline GTR. The inspiration for the R33 Skyline's green and red colour scheme was the Falcon Nissan Skyline R33 GTR, which competed in the N1 Endurance Racing Series in Japan. The R33 Nissan Skyline GTS T-Type M's orange and white racing modification was inspired by the Unicia Jex R33 Skyline, which competed in the JGTC Series in Japan in 1997. The blue and silver racing modification was also potentially inspired by the Zanavi colour scheme that adorned many cars in various Japanese championships. There was a Zanavi Nissan Sunny, a Zanavi Silvia which featured on Gran Turismo 2, and also a Zanavi R34 Skyline, which obviously raced after the original Gran Turismo came out. The person's racing team Nissan Silvia was most probably the inspiration for the Silvia LM Edition on the original Gran Turismo. It featured in the Japanese Super GT series in 1996. The Mitsubishi FTO's red and white racing modification was probably inspired by the classic Mitsubishi rally art colour scheme, which was present on many of their rally cars. Here it is for comparison, on the Lancer Evo 4. The blue and white racing modification was also a colour scheme used in real life by Mitsubishi teams as well. For example, this Mitsubishi Galant was driven by Michael Gerber at the Monte Carlo Rally in 1990. The 1995 Mitsubishi GTO's racing modification was based on the Puma GTO that existed in real life. It participated in the N1 Group Race Series in Japan from 1994 till 1997. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 3's racing modification was also another recognisable one. It was based on the World Rally Championship car from 95 and 96, winning the World Championship with Tommy Mackinnon in 1996. The Lancer also had a second racing modification, which was yellow and red. While there doesn't seem to be a real-life Rally Lancer Evo 3 in yellow, there was a very similar looking car in the 1995 movie Thunderbolt, starring Jackie Chan, and this may have been the inspiration for the yellow Lancer. This brings us nicely onto the Lancer Evolution 4. This car was also driven by Tommy Mackinnon in the World Rally Championship, this time in 1997. It would win the World Championship once again and would also win one race at the start of 1998. Next we have the Mitsubishi Mirage, which was based on the Falcon Mirage. It participated in the Mirage Cup, which was a long-running racing series in Japan. The Mitsubishi Mirage Asti RX was probably based on the classic rally art colour scheme that appeared on many Mitsubishi rally cars, such as the Starion and the Galant. There was a rally art livery track version of the Mirage, however it was white at the back rather than black. The Honda Accords racing modification is probably another quite well known one. The Castrol Mugen Accord was driven in the 1996 and 1997 Japanese Touring Car Championships by Osamu Nakako, winning the 1997 championship. The Honda Accord wagon was likely based on one of the Castrol livery Hondas as well. The closest seems to be the Castrol Honda Civic, which was driven by James Thompson in the 1993 British Saloon Car Championship in Class D. Following on from that Accord wagon, we have the Honda Civic 93. Its racing modification was based on the Jack Civic that featured in JTCC in 1993. It was driven by Naoki Hattori and Katsuhisa Kaneishi and won four races in class and also the JTC3 Championship. Next we have the 1993 Honda Civic Ferio, whose black and red racing modification was based on the Advan Racing Civic, which ran in the Japanese Touring Car Championship in 1995, and was driven by Keiichi Tsuchiya. The 1995 JTCC presentation car seems to be the inspiration for the EK Civic sedan. Despite this presentation car being older than the EG Civic, the Honda logos all match up fairly well. Moving on, we have the Honda CRX up next. 
Its red and white racing modification was inspired by the Idemitsu Motion Team that you can see here on both the 4th and 5th generation Civics. The newer EG6 Civic competed in 1992 driven by Osamu Nokaku and Hideki Okada and won the JTC3 class. Like the Jack Civic as we saw before, the Honda CRX Del Sol also shares the same livery from the Japanese Touring Car Championship. As far as we know, the Del Sol never raced in these colours, but other Hondas did, such as the Accord and the Civic Ferio. The Honda Integra's racing modification was inspired by the Castrol Mugen Civic Ferio, which competed in the 1994 JTCC season and was again driven by Osamu Nakako. The new JTCC regulations meant Honda changed to using the sedan version of the Civic. Next we have the first of the Honda NSX racing modifications. The 1990 and 1992 NSXs were based on the Team Nakajima NSX, which ran at Le Mans 24 hours in 1995. Moving on to the newer NSXs, the black racing modification was inspired by the Raybrick NSX JGTC test car, which debuted prior to the 1997 JGTC season. You can see the similarities in the wheels and the Bridgestone logos at the bottom of the doors in particular. There was also a plainer NSX test car without the Raybrook logos. This one is actually very similar to how the NSXR GT, which was a cut special model, appeared on the trial version demo of Gran Turismo prior to the release of the full game. And if we go back even further to the earlier test drive demo disc, we can see that the design of the original NSX special model was very similar to the Raybrook NSX test car. It was likely changed to be less like the real life car to avoid licensing fees. Some of the other colour schemes for the NSX's racing modification could have also been inspired by actual JGTC libraries. For example, the blue NSX could have been a nod to the Mugen Dome Project Honda NSX GT. The purple NSX was probably a reference to the actual Raybrig NSX which competed in JGTC in 1997. The red strip above the windshield is very similar, although the car still resembles the test car overall in design. Another NSX is up next. The NSX GT1 Turbo only featured on the Japanese version of Gran Turismo and was based on a real-life car of the same name, which ran at Le Mans in 1995. There were two cars entered, numbers 46 and 47, driven by Hideki Okada, Philippe Faver and Naoki Hattori, as well as Armin Hana, Bertrand Gasho and Ivan Capelli. The Honda Special model that featured on the European and American versions of Gran Turismo was the NSX LM GT2. It's almost an exact copy of the team Kunimitsu NSX, which finished 8th at Le Mans in 1995 and won the LM GT2 class. The last Honda we could find that was inspired by a real-life library was the Honda Prelude. It was based on the Toyo Group Prelude from the 1997 Super Taikyu series. Moving on to Chevrolet, this Camaro, which was inspired by the Camaro Z28's yellow racing modification on Gran Turismo, participated in the 1995 24 Hours of Daytona race and finished 48th overall and 19th in the GTS 1 class. The Corvette 96's racing modification was based on the Chevrolet Corvette C4ZR1 IMSA Morrison Motorsports, who ran it from 1994 to 1999 and was developed for the IMSA GTS class and the SCCA World Challenge GT class series. Moving on to Aston Martin, we start with the DB7 Silver colour scheme. The car's racing modification was based on a DB7 Works prototype, which Aston Martin was working on in the mid-1990s. However, it never raced. The green modification is likely a nod towards the classic Aston Martin race cars of yesteryear. The classic British racing green colour scheme with the yellow touch at the front could be found on cars such as the DBR2 shown here, which was driven by the likes of Tony Brooks and Sterling Moss. Next we have the Dodge Viper GTS. Its blue racing modification was inspired by the Chamberlain Engineering Chrysler Viper GT, which competed at Le Mans in 1997. It finished 6th in class and 15th overall. You may also think that you recognise the Viper's red colour scheme. Looks like the Team Areca Viper that appeared in Gran Turismo 3, right? This Viper didn't actually race until 1999, which was after the game's release. I guess we can chalk this one down to coincidence. The blue and white Viper GTSR was inspired by the Team Areca Viper that raced at Le Mans in 1996. The number 50 car was driven by Eric Ellery, Philippe Gache and Olivier Barretta while the number 51 car was driven by Dominique Dupuy, Perry McCarthy and Justin Bell. The 50 car finished 21st overall and 12th in the LMGT1 class. 
The green and white Viper GTSR was also present at Le Mans in 1996, but this specific livery was only seen in pre-qualifying. It was entered by the Kanaska Southwind Motorsport team, and the number 48 car finished 10th overall and 8th in the LMGT1 class. It was driven by Price Cobb, Sean Hendricks and Mark Dismore. Next we have the Dodge Viper RT10 in its orange livery. This car was entered into the 1994 Le Mans 24 Hours by the rent car racing team and was driven by René Arnoux, Justin Bell and Bertrand Ballas. It finished 12th overall and 3rd in the LMGT1 class. The rent car racing team also entered a second car, which inspired the Viper RT10's other racing modification colour scheme. It was driven by Francois Mio, Denis Moran and Philippe Gache, but unfortunately failed to finish. The white Mazda Lantis racing modification was based on the Lantis that was entered by the Castrol Racing Team in the 1995 Japanese Touring Car Championship, and was driven by Yojiro Tarada. The other racing modification for the Lantis is black, red and green. This was a common set of colours for Castrol racing cars, and is perhaps best known for adorning the Castrol Mugen NSX, which made its debut on Gran Turismo 2. While we couldn't find any real-life counterparts of the MX-5's racing modifications, there was some degree of likeness between the livery from the Gran Turismo demos and this MX-5, which may have been the inspiration for the racing modification scheme at one point in the game's development. It was entered in the JGTC series in 1997 by the Kageisen Racing Team. Next up is another likeness that we think a lot of Gran Turismo players would recognise. The Mazda RX-7's green and red colour scheme was probably inspired by the 787B, which first appeared on Gran Turismo 3. Or was it? It's in fact more likely that the car's livery was based on the earlier Mazda 767B, which had a darker red and green colour scheme. Two 767Bs entered Le Mans in 1989 and finished 7th and 9th overall. While we were looking for these real-life racing cars, this red and blue 787B slot car also showed up. However, it's more likely that this was inspired by Gran Turismo, rather than the other way around. The RX-7 also had a green and yellow colour scheme, which may have been partially inspired by this RX-7, which was entered into the N1 Endurance Championship in 1996 by the Katayama Racing Team. The RX-7 LM Edition's appearance was partially based on a real-life RX-7, the 15th Anniversary Edition. However, only the shape of the body inspired the Gran Turismo car, while the liveries were likely made up. Moving on to the older second-generation RX-7, its racing modification seems to have been inspired by this Mitsubishi Lancer, which participated in the N1 Endurance Racing Series in Japan in 1996. This Lancer's teammate had a slightly different look, it was almost the same, but with a green bumper. Interestingly, the Mazda RX-7 on the test drive demo of Gran Turismo originally had this same green bumper. For some reason, the game designers ultimately decided to model the RX-7 off the white Lancer. Also, there existed a Honda Civic Ferio in the same Castrol livery. On the trial version demo, the second generation RX-7's second racing modification was black, much like the Castrol Mugen NSX which also possibly inspired the Mazda Lantis we saw earlier in the video. And with that, we've come to the end of all the cars that we could find at least, which could have inspired the racing modifications on the original Gran Turismo. Do you know of any more that we missed? Let us know in the comments. Thank you to Toyota Sprinter Trueno 1986 for creating the thumbnail image for the video, to CVPI93 for creating the awesome remix of Gran Turismo music you can hear in the background, and to everyone who provided photos or information about some of the cars in this video. So thank you to Sovalu, Little Spike Dragon, Raka Raditio, Kevin Moondust, Bob Bobson and F Mecca. Thanks for watching.